Good morning, everybody. We alive. Another day above soil. So, I'm gonna give y'all a few bits and pieces of updates. Uh, things are going fantabulously. I, wait, I, I woke today. It's not too hot, not too cold. It's just right. So, anyway, bowling season is about to begin. Ooh, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> yes. Usually, it is the week after Labor Day where bowling season starts. Not only does bowling season start during that time, but that week happens to be the National Suicide Prevention Week. Knowing that one of the missions of Live Don't Exist LLC is suicide prevention, I feel like I'm gonna be doing something during that week. And why not incorporate bowling and suicide prevention all at the same time? So anyway, this is how it's gonna go. So next week, it's gonna be the week that starts with Labor Day. I'm going to go to three different bowling alleys in Oswego County. You've got Lakeview Lanes, you've got Lighthouse Lanes, and then you've got a place called the Recreation Club, also known as the Rec. I'm going to be doing three bowling leagues this season. And during the first week of bowling, every strike that I get is going to be a dollar toward the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Yes, you've heard it. Every strike that I get is going to be one dollar toward the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. So, I've been bowling for a minute. Like, I've been averaging 198, 199, in some cases a little bit over 200. So, I'm not going to shortchange nobody. Let's be real. So, there's a certain terminology with bowling. And this term is called sandbagging. Yep, sandbagging. When it comes to sandbagging, some people come to the bowling lane, you know, it's the first, second, third week, maybe fourth week, and that's when they start to establish an average. The thing is, your average would sway easily up and down, up and down for the first few weeks. But later on in the season, when it's like January, February, and March, your average is not gonna go up or down that much. But some people tend to sandbag for a tournament. So somebody might sandbag an average of 160, but when they come to a tournament, they get their handicap and they start bowling 200s or 210s. That's a little bit unethical. So, with this first week, I'm not only gonna be setting a good average, but I'm doing this to save lives. Every strike that I get is going to be a dollar toward the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. And also during this week, or the next few weeks, I'm gonna be doing pieces of artwork just like this. I'll zoom in a little bit. Yep. That's how it's gonna be. So let's do a little bit of a reflection. Life is way too short to feel miserable. Life is too short. If you feel that something in your life needs to change. Change it before it's too late. You don't have to live miserably. You're worth way more than just that. Believe me. And there's a lot of times people may commit suicide because they don't feel that they're worth it. They feel that it's a dead end from People that I've spoken to from all the stories that I've heard, that is the common denominator. It is. People feel that they're worthless, they're not worth a bean, 
they try to get themselves out of a hole, they can't get themselves out of a hole, and it's a downward spiral. It's very unfortunate. But once again, I'm here to tell y'all that it is definitely worth it. If you need assistance, if you feel some kind of way about yourself, once again, please seek help. Please seek help. At the bottom of this video, within the description, I'm gonna put the number to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, and I'm also gonna include other resources for the time being. But anyway, that's as far as my updates are concerned. I hope all is well. I hope everybody's staying safe. Um, yeah. So anyway, there's a lot of things within our society that discriminate. Death doesn't discriminate. Until next time, I see y'all later. I'm out.